It's hard to forget these images, dead and dying crows littering Portland streets, sidewalks and yards. Literally, there were crows falling out of the sky, crashing into the ground, either dead or dying, uh, some were seizuring. It was a problem for the city in 2014 and again just last year. They were across these three parks all the way down to the waterfront. The city says the commercial grade neurotoxin Avatrol is to blame when a resident may have intentionally fed it to a bird. This is unacceptable. These poisons are inhumane, and these types of actions risk exposing the general public, local wildlife, and the entire food chain to a dangerous neurotoxin. Bob Salinger is the conservation director at Portland Audubon. He says Avatrol is often advertised as humane and non-lethal, when really it's the opposite, posing a risk to wildlife, our pets, and even us. So this is scary stuff. You, you don't, you know, and you sure as heck don't want your dog or cat going up and eating this bird. Uh, that's a much smaller animal. That's going to be much larger than our person. You don't want your uh, six-year-old walking up and picking it up. Wednesday, Portland voted to ban Avatrol and other bird poisons on land managed by the city. I vote aye. The resolution's adopted. While the city does not currently use bird poisons on its properties, Salinger hopes this official ban will have state and federal officials taking note. That sends a really strong message to state and federal agencies that they have to do more and give really serious consideration to taking a product like this off the market. There's no way it can be used safely. Uh, it puts our our community, our pets, and our wildlife at risk, and it doesn't have any place in our environment. Brittany Folkers, KGW News.